Hi, welcome to another video of You Can Do STEM. My name is Carlos Perez. I'm just to remind you of who I am and um, what do I do. I am um, MSTP, MD PhD student at the University of Minnesota, currently working in um, obtaining my PhD. I'm in my sixth year in the MD PhD. Typically, MD PhD programs are eight years. Um, two years of med school, four years of PhD, and then two years of med school again. And that's my background. I'm doing breast cancer research, and within the breast cancer research, I do a little bit of computational biology, which I have been training myself. And um, if you are um, interested, in, interested in training yourself um, in computational biology, please... Um, go and watch my previous video where I give a, a toolbox about how to um, better or how to train in computational biology by yourself without the need of obtaining uh, a specific degree. So today's video is going to talk about how to apply to um, cancer biology programs, how to apply to um, bioinformatics program, or better yet, a cancer biology program that has a bioinformatic component and if, um, the, uh, I'm going to try to divide this in several phases I think there's two phases um, if you are thinking about the PhD there's a preparation phase in where you are going to um, try to gain the skills to better prepare you for graduate school and then after that is the execution of application writing your um, your um, statement, your personal statement, making sure everything is in order for the process of application. Within the preparation phase, I think one of the things that um, you as an undergrad or maybe as a um, master's student or um, a um, person who's doing a gap year, you have to make sure that you have a uh, a really good exposure to what research is like and better yet if you can get some exposure about doing research in computational biology and cancer biology at the same time um, then that will really show the potential programs that you're really interested in in the application of both fields together now there's a lot of programs now a lot of labs that actually um, and focus in in both computational biology and also um, cancer biology and they do both of these things quite well so you have to seek for opportunities of doing research there are summer research programs um, that you can apply to there's also volunteering just volunteering um, to in a specific laboratory and emailing the PI or emailing a representative in the laboratory could help you get an experience but usually a little bit of experience will really put your application uh, into the top of the pile um, also if you are an undergraduate and you're working towards your degree make sure you have a strong GPA now I really want to point this how uh, that do not obsess over having a strong GPA. Um, I think that one of the big mistakes that people do in the undergraduate courses is that they obsess about getting an A uh, and getting a good grade, which is great, but I think what you really need to grasp is um, learning the concepts that you really need to learn during that, um, during that specific course then there's also a lot of resources that really try to train people into computer biology and cancer biology that are out there in the internet within the reach of just enrolling into a specific class so you really um, can train yourself in this and I want to really emphasize that again <clears throat> and that will really put your application and um, in the top of the pile again because um, if you already are showing 
interest in applying these two fields and if you are already showing if you're already showing um, that you are willing to do it by yourself then program directors will really look at that we um, a lot of um, um, with a lot of um, positivism um, so you, you there's a lot of things that you can do those are a few things that um, you can do now if you are looking to apply to a program now if you are applying then I think one of the biggest thing to do when you're applying is that you have to do your research about the program so if you're interested in the University of Minnesota which is where I am you need to make sure that you understand what that program tells and if that program offers you the ability to combine both cancer bio and computational biology and you can do that through the website of the university you can do that just emailing the director of the program so I think a lot of people are usually hesitant um, hesitate hesitant to they hesitate to actually contact the people but I will say you, you can do that and that actually is viewed as a positive thing. Um, and then after you make sure that you understand how that programs work, then it's time for you to tailor your application towards that program. So make sure that you, and this is a two-fold thing, so make sure that you use the skills that you already have, and this can be done in the personal statement during the interview as well. Make sure that you um, stand and establish the skills you have and make sure that they understand the skill you have and how the skills you have tailor to the program and how the program tailors to you how the program is able to um, help you build those skills and how are you going to build those skills in that program and I think you can show that again not only in your personal statement but also in your interviews and more importantly in your interviews I think interviews are a specific and a very important opportunity of you trying to sell yourself so make sure that you do that make sure that you are willing to express verbally and within and in within that why the reason why um, you are a good candidate and both um, are fit the university that you're interested in and also you um, as a scientist and as a person too um, and then ask questions about the program to postdocs to graduate students you will be um, amazed about how people really want to help people really want to help you to apply and be successful at that program so that is one of the things that I think is really important ask questions ask questions so again, if you have any questions to me, then please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, if you have any question about the MD-PhD, the computer biology, cancer biology, do not hesitate to contact me. Go to that previous video. If you're interested in computer bio and cancer bio, go to that previous video and make sure you understand the tools that you can use right now to better prepare you for the field of cancer biology. Um, and their applications in, 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 in and the application of computational biology in cancer bio. So thank you again for watching this and um, yeah we'll see you next time in the next video. Thank you.